China now is officially the second largest economy in the world after it has overtaken Japan. What do you think are the consequences of this for Tibet? Do you think it is, is it not in China's interest to resolve Tibet now, or you think it can muscle its way further? Sir? That's difficult to say. Uh, the one way the country or the government, you see, get more self-confidence, then they can uh, handle the domestic problem more realistic way. If the whole sort of situation is a little bit sort of shaky, then sometimes more hesitate, hesitant no, uh, yeah. to handle some of the tricky issue. Uh, so from that viewpoint, uh, the people from China now getting more stronger, stronger, uh, it's useful. It's maybe more positive sort of impact. Uh, now, obviously, the last 60 years, uh, when China remained isolated uh, till uh, late 70, uh, t till 80, uh, isolate, I think people there, uh, because lack of knowledge, uh, so I think they are thinking maybe more limited. After things are being open in the economy field, wider contact developed with the outside world. Uh, so much uh, number of Chinese now uh, more because of that aware of this, uh, of this more open-minded, more liberal-minded way. Uh, so, so therefore, now for example, last, I think now two years, we noticed articles wrote by Chinese in Chinese language about thousand, about Tibet, all very much supportive about our way of approach I see. and criticized about government policy. In uh, I think 30, 30, 40 years ago, impossible. Yeah. Now such things happen. Yeah. Uh, so like that. So uh, wait to see where. Difficult to say at the moment.